Hello everyone. Today we are going to see a Kanban demo in the open source software Agile TR. So Kanban can be implemented as a Kanban system. So we will start with a personal Kanban. So say for Agile or Agile at scale uses a Kanban system usually. Kanban system is nothing but an understanding of the flow where visualization of the workflow as well as limiting the work in progress as well as we actually manage the flow apart from setting up the feedback loops implementing uh, policies and also implementing or evolving experimental okay so there are many other practices in kanban but fundamentally First of all, before even going into a scaled agile or, you know, or uh, agile at scale or like using any lean thinking framework, we firstly can also adopt Kanban. So this is an opportunity to use personal Kanban. Personal Kanban board, you can use it by physical board or you can use a digital board. Okay, so you can use a software platform to create a Kanban board. I'm using a agile TIA platform, which is an open source software. I'm creating a Kanban board. So in the Kanban board, say first of all, I'm creating a my learning learning platform. Okay, or board. Okay, for 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 my progress. Okay. So in this, I'm going to add my task of my learning. Okay, so this is a board, right? So the board will not contain any task right now. So you need to configure the board. So other than this, you can see view, edit, delete, all those things, and then view board. Okay, so if you view the board right now, there is no task. Okay, first you can configure the board if you need to configure. So fundamentally, this board configuration will contain, uh, you know, say columns and view limits, card and board display. Okay, for now, we'll focus on the columns or states and whip limits so by default this software creates these columns or states okay so backlog to do in progress review and done and these are the whip limits and if you see the additional parameters so there is no whip limit for backlog and there is no whip limit for done column which you can set by editing these columns okay if you want to change the name you can change it so you can add more columns you can add it you can delete columns you can delete Okay, so this is the basic setup. Now we'll go back to the board and view the board now. Okay, once you view the board, there is no card, right? So you can add your own learning, learning, learning in Udemy. Okay, say something like this, learning in, in LinkedIn. Okay, so I'm going to make this as a medium priority. Okay, so once you make this different priority, this P3, P4 will appear in different contexts. So uh, learning in LinkedIn is in yellow color because of the uh, different priority. Okay, so now I can move this, and also I can see that there is a web limit set for the to-do column. So if you add more cards to this, it will actually alert. Them. Okay, so that means it is over the web limit. A car, typical Kanban system will honor this web limit. So we'll we either will put it back or any one of the cards, and we start proceeding and focusing in those. Uh, in those direction where we need to focus okay so we will move this and we can see the cfd also cfd is nothing but the current state of the the the, the states okay how many cards are there in each column okay and over a period of time okay so let's say we have these cards and we move this card and the cfd will also be tracking those changes this is one of the ways you can actually visualize the workflow apply work in progress limits and manage the flow these are fundamental practice of Kanban and we can see other things like for policies and implementing feedback loops and experimenting with these Kanban board in the next video. Thanks.